Today we're making an incredible chessboard sponge cake. Crack six eggs into a bowl. Then pour over 500 grams of plain cake mix and whisk well. Add 100 milliliters of milk and whisk that in. Pour in 60 milliliters of oil and combine that with the rest of your ingredients. When mixed, set your mixture aside. Now mix 20 grams of cocoa powder and 60 milliliters of hot water, stirring to make a chocolate sauce. Pour half your cake mixture into a bowl. Then add your chocolate sauce, stirring together to create a chocolate flavored cake mix. Pour this mix into a cake tin. Then pour your other mix into an identical tin and bake both together for 30 minutes at 180 degrees. Meanwhile, heat 200 milliliters of heavy cream. Add 10 grams of loose leaf Earl Grey tea. Stir really well and continue to heat through. Melt 200 grams of dark chocolate and pour in your tea-flavoured cream through a sieve. This will remove the tea leaves and any lumps, but keep the flavour. Use a spoon to push it through. Then, whisk the contents of the bowl to create a thick chocolate mix. Pour 200 millilitres of whipping cream into a bowl and add 10 grams of icing sugar. Whisk them together. Lay out the two halves of your cake and trim them, first with a large circular mould to remove the crusts, then with a smaller one to create a ring shape, and then an even smaller one. There we go. Remove the crusts from your cakes then remove the sections of your cake like this and swap the colours around to create this bullseye like shape. Plate up one of these cake sections and pour over some chocolate ganache. Smooth it out with a knife. Then add the other layer on top and spread ganache over that. Repeat a few times alternating your layers and top with whipped cream. Smooth off your cake and then you can smooth the sides down with whipped cream as well. Pour more chocolate ganache over the top of the cake, enough to cover the flat surface and then slightly dribble down the sides. You might need to help it with a flat knife like this. Then pipe some whipped cream around the top and plant some macaroons into the gaps to create a really fun design. Super classy! This is a really great looking cake. And when you cut it open, it's a really cool surprise. Okay, let's make a classic chocolate fudge cake. 
Combine 70 grams of melted chocolate and 70 grams of melted butter in a bowl and whisk them together well. Then add 10 grams of cocoa powder. Whisk it in. 50 milliliters of milk. Whisk it in. 20 grams of sugar and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Whisk them in. Two egg yolks and you guessed it, whisk those in. Now sieve 50 grams of cake flour into your mixture. Keep tapping the sieve to remove the larger chunks of flour. When that's done you can gently whisk everything together. Now whisk two egg whites in a bowl. Continuing to whisk, add 40 grams of sugar. This will create a soft and fluffy mixture. Spoon this mixture into your chocolate bowl, mixing each spoonful as you go. Now fill a small cake tin with your mixture, smoothing out the top, and then bake for 40 minutes at 150 degrees. Melt 120 grams of dark chocolate, pour over 80 milliliters of heavy cream, and stir the two together to create a chocolate ganache. Then once the cake is baked, pour the ganache over the whole top side of the cake so that it spills over the side. Coat the top and the sides completely. Take your time to make sure you fill any gaps and fully cover the cake. When it's fully coated, it's time to decorate. Decorate with sliced strawberries. Fresh blueberries. and a few sprigs of fresh mint. Time to serve up a slab of your cake and enjoy it with your favorite people. This is a great treat that everyone's going to enjoy. Ever want an elegant and beautiful cake but don't have a ton of time to make it? It's time to learn this frosting hack and make your cake look like a masterpiece. This frosting hack is life-changing as it not only saves a lot of time but gives your cake a professional touch. Cooking Company will guide you to create this frosting hack cake. Are you ready? All you need is 250 grams of cake mix. Stick it in a bowl and add three eggs. Then we add 30 milliliters of oil and 60 milliliters of milk. Whisk those away in a bowl till smooth. And there we have our cake mix. We're going to pour that into a donut shaped cake mold. This gives it a really nice cool shape, but you could use any shape mold you like. Tap it and stick it in the oven for 30 minutes at 180 degrees. While that's cooking away, we'll add 150 milliliters of whipping cream to a pot and boil it. Now we add it to 200 grams of dark chocolate and give it a whisk to make our creamy chocolate ganache. Let's just add a dollop of butter to that. Room temperature or slightly melted butter will be easier to mix in. And there we have it. It's very easy to make. All we have to do now is get a cake mold and pour our chocolate fudge ganache mixture into the cake mold on top of our donut cake. Sprinkle a generous helping of cocoa powder over our ganache and then lift the mold so it all drips down the side of our donut cake. Delicious. You can have this with a cup of tea or a nice coffee. Dig in to enjoy some gooey ganache deliciousness. Absolutely magical. If you like coffee as much as you like cake, this is the recipe for you. Place a glass bowl over a pan of hot water and whisk together three eggs and 100 grams of sugar. Remove from the heat 
and then whisk further. Add one teaspoon of vanilla extract and 10 grams of honey and whisk these into the mixture too. Now sift in 100 grams of cake flour and 10 grams of cocoa powder, getting rid of all the lumps. Mix everything together by hand with a whisk. When combined, add 50 milliliters of milk. Stir that through and then add 30 grams of melted butter. Now pour your mixture into a lined baking tin. Then it's time to bake at 170 degrees for 30 minutes. While it cooks, put a glass bowl over hot water and combine two egg yolks with 30 grams of sugar. Whisk together. Then add four sheets of gelatin and combine it all. Put 200 grams of mascarpone cheese into the mix. Pour in 150 milliliters of whipping cream and thoroughly whisk that through as well. Now put a layer of chocolate cake into a baking tin and pour your mixture over it. Smooth out the mixture with a knife and refrigerate for 20 minutes. Next, dip a ladyfinger into some coffee. Let it soak up and then it's time to lay out a lot of these fingers on top of your mascarpone layer. There we go. When it's covered, you can pour over the rest of your mascarpone mousse on top. Then add a second layer of cake. And now it's time to refrigerate for two more hours. Remove from the fridge and place a shape of baking paper on top. Then gently dust the top of the cake with cocoa powder for extra presentation points. Remove the paper carefully. Then pipe chocolate ganache over the side without the chocolate powder. Let it dribble all over the sides of the cake. When you're finished, you can cover the seam of ganache with coffee beans in a little trail like this one. This will help to hide any tiny mistakes. And there we are. Now that you're done, as always, it's time to take a slice for yourself and enjoy the tasty results of all your hard work.